What is going on, everyone? Today, I wanted to do a unique video where I simply do elixirs. I've had comments asking me, even though I posted a guide before, it was a little bit of a scuff guide, to be honest. So I just wanted to, and, and this is not going to be a guide either. I just wanted to show what I do for elixirs and for everybody to just follow along. So currently I have 35 set. Now I need to get to 40 set. So let's say bye bye to the epic elixirs and say hello to the legendary. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to that 1000 subscriber goal. It would mean a lot. So without further ado, let's begin on the elixirs. So. This will be a little bit of a kind of chatty versus non-chatty video where sometimes I'll explain myself, sometimes I'm just going to go. So just enjoy the show uh, and yeah, that's about it. So let's go. Okay, before I begin, view imbued gear just to see what we're working with. So I do have 35 set from Epic Elixir, so I have a 4-3 on this. I have a 4-4 on this. 4-4 four, four here, 4-4 ah, four, four here, and then a 4-3 here. So I guess my priority currently is to go for uh, gloves into the shoulder because it doesn't have boss damage. So that's really important. I will keep these for now. Oh, and pants. Yeah, I think I think that's the order we'll go. We'll go uh, shoulder, pants, gloves. Is that fine with you all? All right, let's go. Potion poisoning. Ape Expert, Explosive Expert, Thagor, so nothing nothing good, but we will go for uh, boss damage first. Okay, so always want to take the risk, negative one plus two, that didn't work, oh well. This one I want to change from blue to purple, and, and you, you normally want to stack Grandma because her chaos options are dog crap, so, and because this option is pretty good, I'm just going to go for that one. Uh, it looks like uh, Potion Poisoning is getting some love. So now I have to decide, do I want boss damage or transmute two effects at the same time? This is difficult. So for now, I'm just going to do boss damage because I do need boss damage. This is also a good option, but I will say since it already has two chaos stacks, that's the reason why it's I'm having such a difficult time here. So I'll just do this. Um, let's see. Let's do it. Okay, and, and by the way, like you can always change. You don't have to go for the blue stack. But in this case, this one's kind of bad. This one's bad too. So I'm going to look for the blue option here. All right, so we just got the worst blue because everything is free. It's not looking good so far. Um, We'll just do this. <clears throat> hmm. Like, if I get a 5-5 five, five here, that could also be a booster. So that's perfectly fine with me. So here, I'll risk it. Always got to risk it. Nice. Um... And then I will do this. So at turn six, normally what you want to do is to turn away from blue. That way you could stack the blues with the chaos options for blue. And then at the last turn, you're able to get a potential, not guaranteed, but a potential exhaust option. In this case, I would have to turn from blue away from grandma meaning I would have to stack grandma for her chaos option. But as you guys know, negative four to plus five is a dog crap option. So I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Um, I might just go have to go for like a double turn tactic here. But uh, that would mean I would have to keep stacking. Blue. Did I do that actually? Mm. The hard choice. Hard choices. Hard cho yes. Okay, let's go. Let's just go... Uh, Oh, that's bad. Five. Okay, we'll take this. And uh, stagger, sure. No, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. Oh, we could have. We could have. We could have. Ah, dang it. All right, we just wasted time. Okay, so sometimes you don't get it, so then we just move on. Next. Yeah, this is how it works. This is elixirs right here. Stagger here. Expert. Boss damage. All we care about is really getting boss damage here, so... In this case, uh, everything is dog crap, uh, but so, so 
actually not but it's a choice between either minus two plus two for escape expert or great success all for five percent so if it was an epic elixir i would have hundred percent chose this but because we have a lot more turns and i feel like the great success values are better in legendary uh elixirs i'm gonna go for this especially since it's stacking on grandma and remember we always love getting blues on grandma that's the rule okay we'll do this wrist it nope great success on stagger okay we'll take it that sucks this one's good keep on that uh let's see this one's bad this one's good get a great success awesome okay do i want to risk it yes risk it ah oh, so it did the stagger but okay it, it's still doable doable um five uh ooh, actually i could reset here is this a reset angle plus two plus three if i get plus three here for example then it will be four with the three and then i have seven turns i want it to be the four five eight mm, ah that's a little risky i'm gonna re i'm gonna reset whenever you have the option to reset and it looks ris risky then just reset we're learning a lot here so there, there's too many different combinations out here so pretty difficult we finally got something that's an attack power but uh i'm honestly gonna go for this the reason why is because there's actually a 40 percent chance of getting a plus one or plus two while this one's only a 25 percent chance for a one this is good for things when you have zero so we got one nice uh i will increase transmutation rate of attack power Mm, okay sure okay that sucks now okay, we'll just keep stacking blues here put the great success on boss damage i'm going a little fast so sorry i'll decrease when you select it for just this transmutation so it doesn't matter do that uh okay we'll just lower attack power just a little bit and then increase transmutation rate okay so i i still believe in this so i'm gonna go with I still believe. Okay, so remember, now we're at turn six, so we have to turn away from blue. And so I do like Killmongers. It is zero plus four, so it's a little bit uh, of a risky exhaust option, but it will be fine because we'll just. So we turn away, don't select Killmonger on turn six. And you see now on turn five, now he has one purple node, and you do not want to touch Killmonger ever again. Um, so let's see, we have between these two options here consume one attack power no this one is whatever so we'll choose this one okay but now we're at turn four so again you still don't select killmonger but now you have to turn away again from where you were so you can't choose this you have to go this because it's starting at three three turns you want to be at a pure one blue that way you have the perfect stacks you'll see what i mean so we'll seal this we cannot seal that. Uh, okay. Fine. <clears throat> okay. This is risky. We need a reroll, and then this has to be exhaust. So it's a lot. Ugh. All right. So we failed that. So normally what would happen is you would get a free turn here, right? Free turn. And then your last turn will tick this box, and then you will have Killmonger activated. And if you're lucky again, you will get the exhaust option. So most likely you should get exhaust option earlier because this is kind of a risky strat but hey th this is this is just how it is so we got crit damage pants here so we'll just take this um, going uh that sucks uh you know what i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna risk it for it how would this video video be if we don't risk things am i right so here i'm just gonna stack grandma uh and see how it goes so i, I don't want to commit on crit or critical yet I want to see how it goes first. So here, uh, I'm just going to go grandma. Right. Yeah, grandma all the way. And then this one, we'll just blessing. Okay. Oh, uh, here. Okay. So this is not looking good already, but, um, ooh, okay. So let's put this here. So now, so this is elixir. This is elixir. This is the exact reason why I hate elixirs. So now we don't care about the the last exhaust turn option because we don't need it. 
but uh we're just gonna choose the ones that are actually you know that look decent here now um because we don't care uh this one okay now we're, we're getting screwed yeah we're getting screwed oh my god can't even get a free turn option either. G, and we go next so one day i will find an actual elixir that will cooperate with me until then now th 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 this is literally how you do it th this is how you get uh god tier elixirs you just have to do a lot of them here i'm just gonna i like attack power so i'm gonna do this and of course it doesn't go on it i don't want this so i'm gonna stagger it i'm gonna use this okay random level okay nice here i want to stack the blue let's do this sucks this one sucks um this one sucks too but this one's good but it would ruin our chaos options so this is something to think about here i don't want to ruin the chaos option just for one node so i'm just gonna stick with this <clears throat> okay so here yes this is good and we get to reset okay so is this is this a reset angle Mm, three six seven eight left here eight eleven fourteen fifteen left eight so we have 15 nodes and eight turns left so you need to get around two of each every turn that's highly unlikely so we're just going to reset that's kind of how you can determine if you need to uh reset or not to is, is is to calculate you know realistically can you hit that number of nodes that you need if you can't, then probably, you know, do something else. Here, we will uh, do this. Okay, that sucks. This. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, why am I? Why is my blue one so bad? These. Okay, I am actually going to go this. And we're going to stack for Grandpa. Uh, here... Okay, whatever this one's just a throwaway okay nice so three give me three okay nice uh escape expert no that's bad okay this is, these are these are really okay we'll just keep going blue here i think oh my god look how even everything is okay we got two turns two rerolls we'll seal resource blessing sure whatever i don't care blessing of life yes and then surely we have four rerolls. We can get the free turn finally. Yes. Get that one. And then... What is... Oh my goodness. Hmm. Uh, so this could be a 5-2. If this goes here and then I get a crit here. But let me see if there's anything better. Might as well fish for something better. While I have so many rerolls here. Hmm. Nah. Uh, okay, so we just got screwed. Oh well, that's how it goes. All right, so we got a four-two. That's a, that's our current best one at the current moment. Keep going, we keep going. I might put a timestamp actually of when I actually hit something, so that people can just tune into that one. Uh, okay, so we got a critical helmet one. Okay, we might as well just go. For that. Why not? Oh wait, I already have crit damage. Okay, I'm trolling. I completely forgot we had crit damage here. Okay, my bad. Uh, here, we'll just do this. And then, uh, we'll go on Grandma. This one, good. Plus two. Uh, this one is good. Wait, that wasn't good. That wasn't critical, right? Okay, I'm trolling. Don't listen to me on that one. Ooh, whoa, I never seen this one before. I will create three effects at the same time. That's interesting. Okay, okay critical. Always want to juice that up. And, um, okay, so this one looks enticing, but remember, at turn six, we have to turn again. I don't want the blue note at turn six to be on grandma, because then we're going to have to stack grandma. So, in this case, I am going to go for, actually, I, I, we need to risk it for the biscuit, and this one looks good, so we're going to go with Killmonger. Uh, here, this is bad, but we have to turn, so we'll go with this one. So now you can't touch Killmonger, no matter what um here we'll do this and then at turn four we got to turn again from blue so we, we, have, we just have to do it we have to do it seal crit damage sure nice i like that we cannot seal critical we can seal stagger yes 
Okay, can we get a free turn? Okay. Okay. So now we are hoping for exhaust option. If it doesn't show me the exhaust option, then I'll was for not. Okay. See? So, for example, if Killmonger had a plus zero plus four option here, and we got the plus four, we would have gotten five five. If he gave us plus three, we would have gotten a five five. If he got us a plus two, we would have gotten minimum five four. You see where I'm going? Like this is, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to risk it here. So we'll choose this and pray to God that it hits plus two. Ready? Go. All right, screw this game. So unfortunately, it wasn't good. This is still better than my current, I think. Right? Oh, this has weapon power. Never mind. Okay, we just keep moving on. But you, you see where I'm going with this. This is elixirs. This is elixirs. Keep going. So we're 16 minutes into the video and we still haven't gotten anything good. What a fail. What a fail. Hmm. Alright, this one, enhance. Oh, we always get points on critical. Or the, the main ones you need. Uh, this one, we're just gonna go for this 40%. Oh, of course not. 40% doesn't hit. Ooh, free attempt. Nice. This one, uh, sure. Attack power, doesn't matter. Uh, redistribute all effects or attack power. We'll risk it. Ah. Okay. Do we go for the free one level or the exhaust option? Hmm. This is a very interesting thing to come across. I'm just going to go for this. Um, it might bite me in the, the bullet here. But, uh, ooh, do I want to go for 10% or this? Three points. I, I think three points. Oh, so sad. Okay, well, now we got to start getting some stuff done. So at turn six, again, we want to turn. So we'll just do this one. Um, don't touch grandpa. Ooh, nice. This is a great option. We finally got it. Nice. But we still got it. And then we got to turn again to the one that's not Grandpa and not Killmonger. Only Grandma's. All right, nice. And now we just stick with blue all the way. Seal, seal. Please go on the actual ones we need. Ooh. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, I hesitated because I knew it, man. Oh, no. That that didn't matter anyway. All right, that was that's annoying. So we almost got two five fives if the game just wanted to cooperate with us. But it's either five five or zero zero because because you don't you just don't get anything off of it. That's really disappointing here. Boss damage twenty five percent doesn't hit, of course. Let's hit it again. Doesn't hit, of course. Transmute that, increase that. 135 is kind of meh, but it's not it's better than everything else here. Lowest level, but one other effect will lose two. No, thank you. We will have to go for maybe this one. Whatever. Um here we'll just go for 40% hit. Okay, nice. <clears throat> And then, uh, okay, I'm feeling a little risky. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. We're going to go for this one. And now we have to stack grandma. So turn again. And we'll just stack for grandma here. So let's see. We will do this one. Uh, we will do... Masturbation don't need it. Let's go this. And then we go this. And then blue all the way. Seal MP. Not seal boss damage. Can we please stop trolling? And no free turn. Of course we don't. That's annoying. All right. I am not getting lucky today. Sorry, guys. But I, I hope you guys understand kind of the thought process that goes behind it. I promise you, if you're even just a little bit luckier than me, and I'm talking about just a little bit, you would have cut two five fives already. But because it's me... Of course, it doesn't work out. So minus two plus two, you always want to do that. This one's good because we get to go on grandma and it gives us three two levels and it went on the correct one. All right, is this our time? Is this our time? So we want to stack blues here. Go for this one. Uh, one level by this. And oh, I don't like that. Uh, definitely not that one. This one is kind of meant to. But we'll just go for it. 
Uh, all right, are we feeling frisky again? I am. Okay, when I weapon power, whatever. Let's see here. So I have to be wise because at six, six, it will be time to change, right? So we have six, and then yeah. So we have we have to pick the right one here. Um, so I will do this one. So we'll go for Killmonger here. Okay, with everything, you got to take some risks. So let's take some risks. Beautiful. So far, so good. Uh, let's see. Decrease stagger or do we do master? Do we decrease stagger? And then we got to turn on four. But we have to use this. We have to. We have to, unfortunately. Uh, and then keep going blue. Ah, uh, that's bad. See, these two points needed to go here. And, of course, we have to seal the worst option, as always. Oh, it doesn't crit either. And no free turn. Now it gives us a free turn, but if it... Okay. So now we got the exo uh, reset option, so we're just going to take it. Bear with me, guys. This is this is elixirs. As I said, 21 minutes in. This is elixirs. I hope I'm explaining everything very clearly. As you guys are seeing this more often, always get go for these great success at the beginning. Those are really nice. We'll go for great success here. Uh, whatever this one doesn't matter so we'll do that i'll increase escape expert by 10 percent i will just do it we'll ink selected yep that one attack power by one but escape expert by two yeah we'll do that i'll take that any day uh ooh, we can distribute so we'll do stagger oh it didn't go on anything i needed okay this one definitely go on boss damage Okay, this is not looking good anyway, but we will try to recover. Or if we start getting a lot of procs, then, you know, we'll take it. Okay, <clears throat> let's see here. We'll go on this one, increase this one. We'll increase this one. We'll just keep going. Okay, nice. Escape expert, seal that. Uh, ooh, this is risky. Okay, do I go for the free turn? Okay, so the idea here is if I had get a if I do a free turn, I have a chance of getting two points to four. Two to four points. If I use this and it hits on here, I will guarantee myself two points already, and then maybe even uh three or four points, like more for sure, but it does have to hit here. Now that's a question. Do I want to risk it? Because the free double turn might just get me to here. Then it, my road is over. But this one, if it hits here, because it's a 50-50 shot, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. It's the it's the best case scenario for me. Um just do this. Come on. Go on attack power. Alright, there we go. Okay. So now I have a chance for a 5-4, which will be amazing. Then I'm done. But 5-3 is also okay, but let's hope for the 20% here. So 20% crit. Ah. But that's fine. Alright. So we are uh, It took us 24 minutes. But we finally cut our first 5-3. It could have been easily been a 5-4, even a 5-5, if we just got the uh the double crit on the correct slot. But unfortunately, life doesn't go our way all the time, so. So be it. Okay, so we'll put it here, and we'll equip it. So this is good. It's level. It's level five boss damage with three attack power. It's pretty much best in slot. So, you know, there's really no complaints. So all I need is two more points left. So what I want to do is, like I said, I want to do the gloves and the pants. Yeah, gloves and pants. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll we'll, we'll start with pants first. Because my pants are not pretty. But they don't even have any crit damage, any additional damage on them. That's why. Push of poisoning. Ooh, critical helm. Might as well do that, right? Yeah, might as well. If I get a 5-3 or higher, it's, it, it's doable. So we'll do it. Might as well. Okay, we always want to risk it in the early game. And of course, it doesn't want to hit. Uh, this one sucks. We'll just risk it again. Back the blues. Back the blues. Back the blues. And put it on. 
And of course it doesn't go on it. Of course not. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch over to this one. So we have a 45% chance and it still doesn't hit. That's crazy. It's hitting on MP only. What is this BS? Um, I'll increase mass by one MP. Three, three points on that. Dude, it freaking loves MP. Okay, so we need to be careful here. So I want to actually uh, do this one because I don't want to enhance attack power anymore. I want MP and critical. So we can't waste anything. So as always, six turn six will go on here and then we turn. So here I want to do this one and hope for a crit on critical. And of course it does not. So don't touch Grandpa e or, uh, Killmonger even though he looks juicy. Uh, we will just go for... I don't want to risk this. Because it looks good right now. So I'm going to go. Doesn't matter. Uh, this sucks too. But now we turn. I can increase one... Th I just got screwed over. Okay, new plan. So normally I'm supposed to go on this. But new plan. I am just going to stack blues. Because this game hates me. Ah, uh, and it doesn't, do it doesn't crit. So we'll just go for a double turn here. Please. Okay, uh, attack power, and no, it didn't crit. I needed this one to crit, and then for this to be something good, like yeah, like the run level, and then like a crit here. That could have been a five three angle, but it did not want to do that for me, so it's unfortunate. So instead, we get a five two whatever all right what do you do you just keep going on dexterity Ooh, i don't need boss damage anymore attack power yes and pants where's the pants critical 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 here all right this one i'm gonna choose this one because i want to stagger the two chaos's options uh so here i go here or should i go here hmm I'm gonna go here. Nice. That was a good call. That sucks. This one's great. Ah, uh, I have to go it. I have to go. So this is a little bit unorthodox, but I have to go it. I'll just go this. And then um, yeah, now let's try to stack some blue. Alright, so very good start so far. Here I do I do I just get rid of one attack part? Mm, probably not. I always want to save. Yeah, let's just save. Nice, that's beautiful. Uh, here, let's do this. This is a, just a free point. And then here, again, we want to stack at six. But these are bad options. So you know, I can't use the exhaust option anymore. Because I need to choose either of these options. And I do not want to choose any of these options. So I'm just going to go for the bland option here. It, it, it's just a un unfortunate circumstance. Uh, here I will decrease stagger. I'll decrease doors. Uh, we'll just we'll just stack blues. As long as it's good, we just stack blue. That that was pathetic. Why is it putting on stagger? I don't understand. It's a twelve point five percent chance. I'm getting annoyed. Okay, let's see. Um, dexterity attack, but of course nothing is good here. Uh, might as well just save some silver. I don't care. Oh my god, it's just going on stagger. This is so annoying. Uh, let's see. Now it wants to steal stagger, and now I can't. Steal dexterity. And then here we have this free turn option. Do we go for the free turn option? Or go for the free level, or two levels? Or do we go for this one and go for the free level? Okay, so we have two options here. So not, 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 I'm not talking about this one. So we, we have a reroll. So do we end our journey by sealing attack power and praying for a... Oh, wait, no, this is a transmute for two levels. Okay, that's trash. We need the free turn. And we didn't get it, so. Oh, okay. So now, now we seal this and we need to pray since these two will transmute at the same time. We need this to crit and this to crit. You guys ready for your crit crit? And of course, only one of them. Does. All right, going on, moving on. That sucks. Okay, so we ran out so far, but not to worry. We have more. We have all of these. 
and more. There's there's too many to count. But we'll start off with this, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're still here. I don't even know if anybody is going to be here at this point in time at 30 minutes in. Uh, people's viewer uh, attention spans are really low, so if you're here just out of curiosity, say Yahoo in the comments and I will know. Anyway, let's just keep on. Back power. Blessing alive. Weapon power. And crit damage. Alright. Oh, that other one was a really good start too. But here, we want to jack up crit damage. And then now we want to stagger. And what I mean by stagger is now there's two chaos options here and one chaos option here. We want to stagger those so that we have an option, if we just keep going blue, to get one full chaos and then immediately after another full chaos. Now, do you have to do that? No. And if there's a good option, should you do that? Probably not. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to stick with the blue for now. Um, yeah, whatever. This is a temporary one, so we'll do that. We'll just do that. And then this one's escape expert. This one. Nope. Let's do that. So now we got our first chaos option. And our next turn, we have another chaos option. So this one is dog poop. This one is also dog poop, but you know what? We'll just do this one just for the memes. Change this. Physical defense. So we hope we don't get this. All right, we'll randomly distribute. Okay, nice. So let's get physical defense out of here. And of course, it's going to do it. Okay, so turn six, we want to turn. Make sure you turn. Do, 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 do. Like that, like that, like that. And now we are turn four, so we have to turn again, but not on the middle. Go for this, da 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 da, heal this, keep going blue, keep going blue, we can't do that, we can't do that. Return, and uh, exhaust, and of course it's not, so, we just reset. Alright, how's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling good? Everybody feeling good. Explosive blend. Alright, it doesn't matter, both of them are trash. Okay, so this one, I actually really, this is the goaded option. Great success of all effects by 10%. Definitely going to take that. Especially for legendary elixirs, you want to take that. Here, uh, we'll stagger. Let's stagger. We'll do stagger cha here. Okay, never mind. I said we're going to stagger, but then the, the options just went to OP. Uh, here, we'll just do this. We want the blue option. Okay, we'll always take another reroll because we keep getting screwed over. Here, shuffle the levels of all effects. No, I'll just do this. Okay, that sucks. Uh, remember, turn six, so we got to choose either of these two options. This one, that sucks. Now we turn. We'll just go for this one because we have to. And then this one, we'll just go for this. And then turn four, you want to turn again. So we go this. And then we just keep going blue. But this, this already looks like trash. So I don't have high hopes for this at all. Uh, we re-roll, 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 and of course, we don't get it. Alright, next. Master Evasion. Potion Poisoning. Weapon Power. Dagor. And Crit Damage. Alrighty, we want the Crit Damage, so we'll go for this one. One lowest. Okay, we'll take that. Okay. Potion Poisoning, sure, why not? Okay, free turn, why not? 70%, why not? I'll increase that by this, increase that by that. Uh... Nah, I'm gonna fish for a reset. Should I? Mm... You know what? This might be a good chest. I'm gonna try for a chest. Let's go for a chest here. Uh, here, let's do that. Here, sucks. That sucks too, because we, sh we needed this faster. Uh, we'll just do that. And, uh... Okay, so we just got screwed. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah, we got screwed. Okay, we got screwed. Alright. Let us move on. Potion Poisoning. Expert. Master Evasion. Bagor. And Critical Damage. So here, these are trash options. That. We'll go for this. We'll go for this. Or, right. mm. 
Yeah, I want the blue. I want the blue option. And of course, it's not good at all. Why would it be good? Of course not. Here we will go. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to YOLO. Screw everything. Screw, screw doing logic, right? Logical plays? Who does that? Uh, here, I don't want to risk this anymore. So we'll just go for the highest one here. Okay, I should have risked it. Screw me, I guess. Uh, here, let's see. Increase transportation rate by critical damage by 5%. Mm. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? I'm a little annoyed right now. So we will just choose whatever option looks okay. Um, here we will go over this. Not sealing that. We're sealing that. Okay, we already have five crit. Escape expert that. And a free turn. We finally got a free turn. So I guess we just don't need to give a crap. And then we get something. Okay, nice. Okay, hold on. So I don't want to reroll and get bad. Uh, so grandma is only going to give either some crap option or even crappier option which is the negative four, five plus five option. I don't need that. I just need to use this. Because this will give me one free point. So I have a guaranteed five, four. I have a 15% chance of getting a five, five. Let's see what really happens here. And I don't get the five, five. It's okay. Five, four, I will take it. That is an extra point in our arsenal. And finally, at 37 minutes, we have gotten our first decent elixir. So we can definitely... Equip this, and that is a massive upgrade to what we currently have. All right, so now we need one more point left. So our goal here is either the glove or the helmet. Now I am going to choose, it doesn't really matter. Both of them are identical actually. So I just will choose either one, either one that comes up, whatever. All right, let's go. So, okay, so I, it looks like I only have two more elixirs for now, and I will have to end this video because I need to farm for the rest of them, but I hope you guys are enjoying this type of content. If you are, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot, and I do look at the analytics, so I do know if you guys are enjoying these types of videos because you are basically voting with the subscribe button. Here, I am going to do this because that's a guaranteed point. Here, I am going to do this. Stack some blues. Stack some blues. All right, decrease. So this is permanent. So we'll just decrease potion poisoning here. And then here, we don't like this. So we will switch to this. And we'll go for critical. And of course, it fails. We will increase one by that. Yes. Nice. Okay, exhaust option. We go on critical plus four. Plus two is unfortunate. And then, okay, we're just going to seal. And of course, it's a fail. All right. <laughs> All right, that, that's just how it goes, guys. Sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuits. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you just, like the 5 4 we cut, I didn't even think it was going to be a 5 4. Like, I, I totally gave up on it, and then it just turned out to be a 5 4. So, you know, you do what you do. Here, we're just going to take this option here. It's a free option. Uh, uh, this is actually a pretty decent option. Should I stagger or do this? Hmm, because 25% is kind of low. I am going to stagger. And it was the right decision. Nice. Okay. Here, I'm going to risk it. Nice. It didn't reduce anything here. This one put 7% on the critical as always. Here, I am going to risk it again. I am playing with fire and it's working. You got to play with fire sometimes, guys. Seriously. Okay, we got the exhaust options. Now we juice that up. Beautiful. And then here we want to... Let's see. Increase that or... Uh, we'll do this because we do have a point on blessing... Our extra point on blessing of life. So we can maybe get a transmute on blessing of life instead. And of course it doesn't. Fine. We'll do this one. That's fine. Um... Master Evasion, 50%, whatever. Okay, we got Critical. Decreased Potion Poisoning. I'll always take that. This one, we'll try to go for a free turn here. We did, we did, 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 did get it. 
So we will have to reduce one of these that are like higher in percentages so that it spreads out evenly better. Uh, we don't like Blessing of Life, so we'll steal that. And of course, we get the wrong one. Okay. We're just going to keep going here so we can get another free turn. I'm definitely not going to steal that. Seal Potion Poisoning. And we got the free turn. Awesome. So free turn on Master Evasion. Okay. And then, okay. There we are. So this effect will transmute will increase by two levels and we have a 10% chance of hitting 5-5. Five five. Let's see. And it didn't, but we still got a 5-4. And what does that mean? So perfect. That was actually our last elixir. And we managed to get 40 set in this 40 minute session. <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy. But I mean, I hope this helps because this is... A very clear example. Oh, make sure you choose the right one. So this one's gloves. This is very, very important to do and optimize. Otherwise, you're going to burn through so many elixirs. It's insane. I really hope this really helped uh, all of you guys. But now, there you go. I have critical 40 set on everything. Now, my goal is to kind of... I already pushed one chest to level 7. As you can see, I have a dent in my gold <laughs> as prior. But I'm going to try to get level 7 on everything as possible. And this is my Shadow Hunter getting juiced now. I cannot wait to see the damage in Behemoth and other raids. Just, you know, MVPing left and right. Maybe I'll make some more videos about Shadow Hunter gameplay. And I also have an advanced Shadow Hunter guide that's in the process of making. So be on the lookout for that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you guys learned something from these elixirs, let me know by subscribing. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching.